Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Choose your side and stay on that side at 100%. What do I mean? Well, you think of a battle. There's two sides. Well, some people think the good and the bad. My side's the good, your side's the bad. We're going to war for those reasons. I don't mean a battle per se, but to some degree, it is kind of a battle. Because, as I said before, we're living in a time of spiritual warfare. The good, the bad, the light, the dark, God against the devil, let's say. So, fear against love. So with every decision, every action that you take, that you make, that you think that you do or don't do, that has to align with either the side of love or fear. Love or fear, two worlds as I always say. So every decision that you're making each and every day, what you're tuning into, what you're watching, what you're doing, where you're going, who you're seeing, what you're saying, what you're not saying. People are operating from a space, unfortunately, many people, of mm, expectations. Expectations of themselves, expectations of their parents, what their parents expect from them, want from them. Of approval, of validation. That's the energy of fear, let's say. Because if you're living in the world in the side of love, guess what? You're going to be free, speaking free, acting free, doing what you love, your dreams, your desires. Because with every step that I take, I always ask myself, is that based on love or is that based on fear? Stepped out into the world to travel the world, right? That was a decision based on love. Was fear there? The uncertainty, the unknown, yes, it's there. But I stepped over that and I move forward and I keep on moving forward. Did I have hiccups? Did I have obstacles along the way? Yes. Did I step over those two? Yes. Because I keep on choosing the energy of love. You have to keep on deciding to choose the side of love. With your thoughts, the negative thoughts, that's not the side of love. That's the side of fear, the lower vibration, that is which not you. All those negative thoughts poo-pooing your ideas, your dreams, what you can and can't do, getting healed, not getting healed, physical ailments, grief, sadness, anger, guilt. That's the other world. If you want to move into the world of love, well, you have to take your responsibility and heal that. Look for, how do I heal that? What do I do? Maybe I get a book. Maybe I seek a healer. Maybe I go to YouTube, see how to heal this. How do I move forward in life? How do I start looking forward out of the front window of my vehicle and not behind me, not living in the past? How do I let go of these anchors that are holding me back and not allowing me to set sail to my paradise island where everything's happening in all ways, shapes and forms, relationships, love, loving self, forgiving self, forgiving others? Every time you make a decision, you line up with the world of love or you line up with the world of fear. Fear, a space Let's say, anger, hatred, misery, hurt, pain, sorrow, sadness, disappointment, resentment, blame, shame, guilt. All those lower vibrations and experiences. And then the world of love. Every time you make a decision, line up with love. You can't fight on two sides of a battlefield, can you? No. You're either with America or you're with Russia or you're with England, right? Just think of a battlefield. You have to pick your sides. But yes, in the world, I'm here to unite the world as one. Because what we are one, mankind, humankind here on Earth. We're all supposed to move forward in the energy of love. And the only way we could do that is tuning into ourselves and choosing love, choosing healing ourselves, choose, choosing letting go of the past, the hurts, the pains, the shames, the abuse, and all the negative experiences that didn't serve you. Unfortunately, right now, we are being operated. The world is operating under the cabal, or the Illuminati, as I might call it. And I'm sure many viewers know about them, who they are, the ones with the billions and trillions of dollars, as I said before, who are creating this pandemic, who've created this virus, the man-made virus. 
who want us to be six feet apart, who don't want us to be in relationships, who don't want us to have love, feel love, experience love, laughter, happiness. Why? Because if they're that wounded, they're just in the energy of fear, hurts, ego, power, control, money. They're in that space. Guess what? If they don't feel like they have a soul, they're happy, they're miserable inside, guess what? They want to take your life away too. They want to take your soul, your happiness, your joy, your passion, your purpose away as well. But it's until we all start waking up to see it for what it truly is, to stand in our power, to walk forward, to say no when they try to kick us off the beaches and move forward, to be in the water, to be absorbing the negative ions from Mother Earth, to be in nature, to be with the animals as you can see the animals behind me the dogs and the cats and the friends and the children and playing and laughing. Keep choosing the world of love. Keep going into your heart and asking yourself, what is truth? Just because there's rules and regulations doesn't mean they're in alignment with source, with God, with your heart, with love. They're not. Just like the laws that were trying to be created when Hitler was trying to take over the world. Now, the cabal, the Illuminati, is also trying to take over the world, the people. They do not care if we go broke. They do not care about the middle class, the lower class. They don't really care about the rich people too. Because everybody is being controlled, because they're allowing it. Because people are choosing to keep the mask on, to live in fear, to abide the negative laws, the rules and regulations. But we have to stand up and come to the beaches. Because you do it as a group, in love and you keep on listening to your heart and you move forward on that battlefield, then the people, the world, and love and source and God will win. And it's inevitable that source will win and God will win. Why? Because that's just what will happen. And I know that in my heart of hearts. We might be going through a difficult time in these years and they might be enforcing a mandatory vaccine, which God only knows what's inside of that and maybe a chip and if you don't get it, your life will be very difficult and complicated. But we are not robots, as I said before. Your phone, your computers, we are not that. We are human beings. If God wanted a chip inside of us, these vaccines that really aren't vaccines, they want to shut down our feelings, our emotions, our connections to ourself, to our brain, to our hearts, to our feelings, to each other stopping relationships and love and manufacturing babies without intimacy, without relationships. Watch a couple movies. I posted on one of my previous videos, The Veil is Being Lifted. How about the movie Equals? There's many others. I'll list a couple more here underneath in the description. Choose your battlefield. Choose the world of love. Keep asking yourself with every decision, every choice that you make, is that a space, is that the decision based upon love or is that the decision based upon fear? After I got robbed in Cambodia, I went back to America to gather up my belongings once again. Passport, credit cards, gather up my money. I could have stayed back in America, but I didn't complete my mission. I could have stayed in the comfort zone and the security of the known of money coming through, but no, I took back off because my heart told me to go finish up your mission, Sherry. Don't worry about anything, just go forward. My heart told me that. My head was telling me to maybe stay back and keep the security and the known and the comfort zone of what's coming in financially. But that's not living from our authentic self. That's not choosing the world of love. That's going on the battlefield of fear. And we stay in our comfort zones because oftentimes of fear. But that's not our authentic life. Live from the world of love. Live on that battlefield. And keep on moving forward. Open your eyes to see the truth. Look for the truth. Because there's going to be a lot that's going to be revealed in these next couple of months and years to come. As the world shifts from the old world into the new world and the golden age. Stay tuned. This is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the world. Peace.